Christabel with the band Hungry Lucy and today we're just kind of going through the story behind the song uh, Grave which was on our first album Apparitions and we've also made a video for it for when we perform live it's the backing video for it but it's one of our favorites it came out really nicely and uh, we just thought you all might like to come along with us and see how Grave came to be what it is today. This version of Grave is probably the 57th version. Um, we actually did it this way for our live shows, for the tour that we did earlier in, well, in 2005. We wanted to give it a little more pep because the original version is very kind of static and slow. So this one's got a lot more energy some, and live percussion and uh, Krista plays keyboards in it too, so it's got a lot more pep to it. But still get still got the nice dark feel so that's why we did a new version of it and this is the video that we use when we perform live and it's one of the our favorites and one of the more popular ones so we thought we would actually release it as a, a proper video the video was filmed at an old section of a cemetery that i found when i first moved to cincinnati area and it's kind of the more decrepit really soft ground type cemetery and it's got an old church in it and it just it was a place that I used to go to write and just take pictures and stuff. It feels secluded in some areas but in other areas it doesn't. There was um, a lot of problem shots where there would be cars in the shot or you know we take like a laundry basket along with us full of like changes of clothing and makeup and <clears throat> stuff like that and on this particular day when we shot the footage for Grave there was a really really loud yippy dog just did not like our presence and there's like a couple of houses near the cemetery which we didn't go near but the dog saw us and we seemed to be bothering him and tons of birds other loud cars and things like that <laughs> For the grave video, uh, that was the first time we properly used our glide cam fixture thingy. And it's a handheld device you attach the camera to and it you can move around and wobble all over the place and it makes things very smooth. So this was the first time we used it. It's a pain in the ass to use, but the results are good. I was very surprised at how well it worked. No, this is not an endorsement for the product, but um, it seems weird. You hold onto this little thing and it makes the camera very heavy, but you can jump around all over the place and it just floats nicely. So, yeah, it worked very well. There was this one particular scene where I wanted the camera to move smoothly from Krista, like kind of along her body and across these gravestones and I couldn't, I wasn't using the um, glide cam for that because it was too difficult to get a zoomed in tight shot. So I had to do that over and over and over again. It got very annoying and frustrated. Shit, fuck that up. <laughs> Shit, fuck damn it. <laughs> but it ended up coming out all right. The end scene was probably the funniest thing and um when the blood comes out of my mouth, because we shot in color naturally and when I did the video in editing I decided to make it more black and white based so that when the chocolate syrup runs out of my mouth it looks like old dead blood but the funny thing was when Warren was framing the shot and he was like in tight on my face when the blood was going and then he panned out there's a close-up of her face with this very gothic looking blood pouring out and then I pan out and you see her <laughs> clutching the Hershey syrup bottle mm. that made me chuckle and I still had this horrible, like, death look on my face, and just the way he panned out, I thought it was pretty funny. So we're out there. So we's out there in the cemetery. It's bright and sunny. Chris is prancing around in frilly short skirt in <laughs> in the graveyard, and we get back and we uh, got all this footage, and it's all very bright and sunny, and you kind of wonder if it's going to work to make a kind of a dark themed video with all this sunny footage. But then, then Krista does her magic, and this particular one, she 
you know, squashed all the color, made it black and white, high contrast, and put some glow effect on there. And it's amazing what you can do with, uh, with technology, one, and Krista's magic, which is the best part. But it came out really well. When we thought about doing the video, I thought about the black and white thing and being quite literal about grave. And I knew that that cemetery had a lot of moss and it just looked like a more eh kind of video or cemetery for the video. And um, I don't know, I just, we just kind of went by feel. I knew I wanted multiple layers of, you know, self within self kind of representative of the soul leaving the body kind of thing and just did it that way and actually when the song was written it was written in a different cemetery and but that one's all kind of you know really modern type headstones too polished and that didn't appeal to me I think with what we do as Hungry Lucy it's never just music it's as much about the visuals as the music, as anyone that's seen us live will agree with, I think. Um, we always make the videos, you know, one for every song that we play live, and the more interesting of those we'll probably release in some form, whether it be online like this or on a DVD. Uh, but um, yes, there will be plenty more to come.